Hey Aries, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nali, a.k.a. Awotero, and I'm here to give you guys your weekend reading. We're going to tap into this energy, see what's coming towards you guys this weekend. But before we get started, if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you can be notified when I post a new reading. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for all your love and support. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Alrighty, Aries, as you all know, these readings are for sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. These are timeless general love readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does, leave the rest behind. Time is fluid, so whenever you find this reading, you are meant to hear it. There is no gender in tarot. Please reverse the roles as need be. Cross watchers, you are always welcome. Guys, don't forget to check your other placements so you get a better understanding of this energy. And if you would like to book a personal reading, the information's in the description box below. Let's go ahead and get started. What are the overall messages here for Aries this weekend, universe? Overall messages for Aries. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, signs, Aries. Messages for Aries. Lessons. Okay, somebody's learning some lessons this weekend. Somebody is studying. And the answer is no. One more universe. What is the answer for? Maybe somebody hasn't learned their lesson. Victim in the reverse. And return at the bottom of the deck. Alrighty, guys. I feel that someone hasn't learned their lessons yet. Mm -mm. They're still trying to play this victim role. So I feel that someone's going to try to come around you this week and acting like they, they've learned the lesson, like they've learned that, um, like they've learned this lesson, like they, they know what they did wrong, but the truth of the matter, it isn't, they, they haven't learned anything. This person is still playing, um, this victim role, or they're going to make you a victim again. But I feel that overall, if someone's coming, try, trying to come towards you guys, this person has yet to learn their lesson. They have yet to learn their lesson. King of Wands, you're dealing with a fire sign here, Aries, or that's you, pretty much. Maybe you didn't learn your lessons. Ten of Cups. Someone is trying to come back towards you, okay? Someone that may have made you feel like a victim in the past, this person is a karmic. With the Wheel of Fortune, this person has not learned their lessons. Mm -mm. Someone's coming back with some emotional manipulation here. And you're going to find yourself being a victim again. So if somebody's trying to ask you that, if someone's trying to ask you if they can come back, if they can return to, if you guys can reconcile, your answer should be no this weekend. Nope, this person has yet to heal with the four swords in the reverse. This person is not healed whatsoever. They have not learned any lessons. This person's coming in here sugarcoating, acting like... Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I know I'm going to do right by you. I'll never put you through these painful cycles ever again. I'm going to be okay. We're going to be good. And nope, they're gonna, you're going to be a victim again. Be careful. They're going to make you feel like the victim again. They're going to put you through some shit. Be careful. This person has yet to learn their lessons. I feel like this person's coming back towards you because when you walked away from them, when you ended up breaking up with them or they broke up with you, whatever happened, and they emotionally disconnected here, um, shit went wrong for them. Shit went, went south on them, okay? Things weren't working out for them. They felt like, you know, oh, without my Aries, you know, I, I'm not going to be able to make it. I need to go back to my Aries. But when they come back towards you and you tell them, well, did you learn your lesson? Are you going to cheat on me again? They're going to be like, yeah, the truth of the matter is no. Nope, they didn't learn their lessons. Do not reconcile with this person because you're going to be a victim again. You're going to be their victim again. This person's going to come in here, try to sweet talk you, tell you that they don't want to miss an opportunity with you. But the second that this person gets, they're going to leave you out in the cold again. This person doesn't know what the hell they want. They're not trying to commit to anyone. This person is lying. Okay, with the Ace of Swords, they're lying. They're going to tell you that they've changed, that they're a new person, that they want a relationship with you. They want a commitment with you. They want to reconcile with you. But what they're really doing is that when you walked away from them, they lost everything. So they're coming back towards you to regain whatever it is that they lost. And the second that they get a chance, they're going to turn on you again, leave you out in the cold, and you'll be a victim once again. 
So if this person comes back towards you this weekend to reconcile, no. You should say no. Because this person does not know what they want. This person is stuck on stupid. Okay? They play these mental games. They're going to leave you stuck. Okay? They're going to tell you that they're going to grant all your wishes with that with the nine of cups in the reverse. I love you. I, they're going to tell you everything that you want to hear. But it's all false. It's empty cups. Okay? This person is just saying whatever you want to hear so they can come back. So they can regain something that they lost. Maybe this person was codependent on you financially. Okay? This person depended on you for everything. When you were around, everything was balanced for them. Everything was good for them. They got everything that they needed. They didn't even have to work for it. But now this person's coming back in here acting like they're in this Nine of Pentacles energy when they're not. This person is still messing around with other people. If this person told you that they left, a committed relationship, they didn't. They're still dependent on that person. This person is very dependent on you, okay? This person is trying to tell you, oh, I'm going to put the work in the connection. This time, I'm going to do right by you. This time, we're going to do, we're going to make everything happen together. We're going to rebuild this together, and it's a bunch of bullshit because with the Page of Pentacles, they're not going to do shit. They're making you false promises that there's going to be a new stable beginning here. They still have options, they still have options. And look at with the three of cups in the reverse, they're still going to have you in a third party situation. This person hasn't ended whatever it is that they were dealing with. Whoever they were dealing with, they haven't ended it. Okay. They're going to put you in a third party situation again, and you're going to be their victim one more time. Be careful with this past person because they're coming in here with real bad intentions. They're not speaking the truth. They're not. With the judgment in the reverse, this person is in denial. They think that they can come in here, woo you over, get you to do whatever they want, and then they can just dip on your ass and leave you out in the cold, and then you're going to be a victim again. This person is just playing some emotional mental games here with you. They're lying with the Nine of Swords. You're going to be in this for a second, for a hot second. You're going to be so happy that this person's back. Everything's going to be good, and give it, give it five days, and you're going to be right back in the place where you started from. Okay, you're being asked to turn your back to this person. Don't allow them back home with the Ten of Pentacles because all this person is coming to do is cause you instability. They're going to leave you in this Eight of Swords energy. They're going to make false promises of a new beginning here. But this person is a very unstable person. They may still be married to that other person that they told you that they left. They're married. Okay, they're in another relationship. This person is very unstable. And you got to cut them off with this King of Swords energy. You got to cut them off. Hold back from them. Don't reconcile with them because at the end of the day, they're still going to have you in this third party situation. They're going to break your heart again. All right, guys, I hope and pray that this reading gave you clarity. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell. And if you want to book a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.